five years and today we're going to have a look at getting this cloned Arduino up and running. So if you've actually bought a CNC board, you more than likely got a cloned Arduino because there's quite a few out, of them out there at the moment. Um, even if you get them straight from Amazon or if you get them from China, they're going to more than likely going to be a clone. Now, if they've told you that it's not a clone, then you have the right to have your money back. And if it's coming from places like uh, China and all that, and they've said in the description that it's a genuine Arduino board, then you'll more than likely get a free board out of it because you'll actually go back to the actual seller and actually say it's a clone board and I can prove it. And they will more than likely just give you a PayPal um, refund and not even ask the board back. Um, so it's well worth noting that one of the ways you can actually find out that it's actually a clone is that by the color of the actual board it can be darker. The LED lights are a different color, like the power on light will be red. And sometimes the actual driver chips are different themselves actually on the board. Um, just do a little Google and you'll actually have to find out if you've got a clone of board or not. Also, a lot of them have got made in Italy on, and that will be missing as well. It will include the Italian flag or the actual Italian map. It's, I think it's an Italian map. Um, but getting onto the subject, uh, to get the clone, I mean, the clones are actually fine, they work fine, um, but you'll find that when you start up the Arduino um, IDE, you're more than likely have the not being recognized. And it's normally to do with the communication USB chip that sits here. And if you have a look at the chip with this one, this is CH340G chip. So anything starting with CH3 and made with made by WCH is normally this uh, serial chip needs an actual another piece of software to install be installed. And to do that, you just go off to their site, this one here. So this is the address to go to to download the actual uh, piece of software to actually install. This is the driver itself. And if I just jump into my Arduino IDE, if I go to tools and I go to port, as you can see, it's it's sitting there actually blanked out. And either in the um, device manager itself, device actually won't show up in here or it'll come up, come up in other devices with a question mark by the side of it. So we're just gonna install this now. So I'm gonna jump over to this site. Just go to the link and what will happen is that you'll be dropped into a Chinese site. Just change that to English and the driver is here. Just click download and that will download the driver. I've already downloaded it, so I can actually jump to the driver itself. I believe I've already got it open. There it is. So it come down as a executable zip. I run zip it or double click the executable and it will say here that what you're uh, actually installing. So this one is from 2014. There's uh, later versions out there, but um, that's actually download this one 2019, so let's download this version. You can see it's a zip file. Just track this. There we go, just double click the setup.exe. And there you can install, just hit install and that will install the actual software itself. There we go, all installed. What should happen? You may have to take the Arduino out and push it back in again. So I've just removed the Arduino from the USB port. I'm gonna place it back in. Now if I jump to my Arduino IDE, I should get a port to come up com free. There we go. And make sure my board is set to nano. Get board info. There we go, it's coming up to unknown board. And I know it's with mine, I've uploaded sketches to this and this won't change. 
so it's definitely a clone and if we look at the processor um, just to point out a little um, little thing with this is that when I load into this board I had to actually pick the old bootloader because the old bootloader is still on this board so it must be uh, quite an old board sitting there um, so if you have troubles uploading to making sure that you've got the right chip um, selected if you have troubles uploading select the old bootloader and have a go with that one and that will probably get your software onto there so the next thing I'm going to have to do is actually upload the, the GRBL software to this actual board and get that up and running and I'll show you how to do that in another video because for the nano you have to actually make some changes to the code to the CPU map and we need to do that before we upload to the board. Otherwise, when we try to actually use the CNC machine, in the X and Y axis will won't actually work because they're actually mapped to a different pin. Okay, cheers for now.